So I've gotten some really good messages, some uh, private comments about how I'm able to keep my garden so green and lush, especially during these hot summer months. And I just wanted to share with you guys my tips and tricks for the cucumbers, for the tomato plants, the peppers, what I do in order to help them start off the right way and maintain that green, lush fullness that you see in some of my plants. Welcome back to Texas Size Gardening. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you follow me on YouTube, then you've seen me harvesting things like tomatillos and Roma tomatoes and bundles and bundles of cherry tomatoes. And that's because of the following tips I'm gonna share with you. I do want you to take note though, here we are in the hot Texas summer and behind me, I have some succession tomato plants, which just means I planted them at a different time than my previous plants. These were started from seed and look at this, hot Texas heat and they're blooming and on some of them I have little tomatoes. So here's how I'm able to do this. Plants produce a small amount of salicylic acid when they are stressed. So when I put my tomatoes, I like to add two tablets of low dose um, aspirin into the hole. What this does is it helps the tomato plant build up resistance to things like bugs and any disease that tomatoes may incur throughout their growing period. So I'll go ahead and just dig the hole and then right in the bottom of it I'll just stick the two aspirin tablets in there. The aspirin also helps to increase the number of tomatoes and the size of the plant as well. Now if you're watching this and thinking that you have to go digging around your plants and drop in some aspirin, you don't have to do that. A simple solution of aspirin in water, let it dilute and then put it in a spray bottle will also do the trick. You just spray it on the foliage of your tomato plants and you're good to go. Another good thing about the aspirin is that you can use it on any other nightshade members like peppers and eggplants. And if you're wondering what nightshade means, it's just a term that refers to vegetables that like to grow at night or in areas with shade. In addition to the aspirin, I like to drop a little bit of Epsom salt. You can find Epsom salt at Amazon or in a grocery store. But what the Epsom salt does is it helps with blooming and the color as well as it causes the tomato plant to fill out and look bushy. Epsom salt is constructed of sulfur and magnesium, which are vital for the plant growth. Last thing I drop in the hole for my tomatoes is one egg. Eggs have high amounts of calcium, which is important for root uptake. It can also help avoid issues like blossom and rot, but I like to think of it as an added slow compost under the plant. And there you have it for tomato plants, aspirin, epsom salt, and an egg. You'll put that at the very bottom of the hole and then you'll go ahead and plant the transplant or the seed on top of it. We'll have healthy tomato plants. Here we are at my cucumbers or cukes for short. And what I like to do with cucumbers is I like to stick a banana underneath the plant and cover it with soil. I actually did this a couple of days ago, but let me let me show you and tell you, here it is, and tell you why I do this. So cucumbers don't need that much nitrogen, but they do need a lot of potassium and phosphorus. So the banana takes care of the potassium issue, and then every now and then I'll come in here and I will sprinkle some bone meal on top and then cover it with a little bit more dirt. The bone meal helps with the phosphorus. Here's my bone meal, and that's gonna help with the phosphorus. And then if you can see, there's my banana that I buried a couple of days ago, and as it decomposes, it's feeding the cucumber plant. Good news about my banana trick is that you can also use it with watermelons and with melons. Now when you're first starting out your watermelons or even the melons, you need a lot of nitrogen. But once they start to flower like these here, then you start feeding them phosphorus and potassium. And 
the banana again helps with the potassium and the bone meal will help with the phosphorus but if you follow this little trick you'll start getting some pretty good looking watermelon plants and even melon plants we're on the subject of bananas bananas buried underneath the soil of rose bushes also work wonders as you can see here they help them bloom more more lush and just a beautiful plant overall so don't forget about your rose bushes as well peppers are in the nightshade family just like tomatoes so my aspirin trick along with some epsom salt and an egg will go ahead and give you well this beautiful healthy pepper plants with plenty of things for you to harvest and enjoy down the line okay now let's talk about limes for starters I can't stress this enough water 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 your lime trees they need plenty of water to grow and in addition lime trees need nitrogen in order to satisfy their feeding needs and they need plenty of phosphorus so remember um, phosphorus you could do it by giving them bone meal which will really help them out and in addition to that lime trees also need micronutrients like magnesium but again doing something like watering and giving them phosphorus or bone meal will help them out a great amount last thing I want to talk to you about is okra now I understand okra is more of a south uh, vegetable here in the United States but I'm glad to hear that some of you want to grow it thank you for sharing those comments with me and sending me your questions about okra here's the thing you want to know about okra though I get questions asking me what do I need to feed it what do I need to give it what type of soil and let me tell you okra is very forgiving and it's very prolific I love okra you can literally just stick it in the ground put some dirt and even go days without watering it and it still grows the only thing it really needs is heat make sure when you're planting it it is hot it loves the heat and it thrives in the heat okay I'm gonna go ahead and sign off because the rain is coming it's dark out here it's getting cloudy but there you have it some of my tips and tricks to help you grow beautiful green lush plants especially during the summer heat let me know how it goes. Send me your comments. Keep messaging me. I love to hear your stories and your questions. I'll see you next time here at Texas Size Gardening.